Afternoon and welcome to Down the Barns. Today we're here to have a look at the Daimler Double Six and this is quite some car. It's been totally restored by a guy called Keith Rogers some time ago. It now belongs to a chap called Doug. We're gonna meet him in a moment. It's in this lovely signal red. But where this car really comes into its own is inside the car because inside, well, it's all rather special. It's all matching in. Let's take a look. a look inside because it's very very nice inside come in and have a look this is doug doug oh, welcome oh. to down the barns good to see you Adam. and you. hi everybody i hope you like the car yeah it's it's a great car now what's different about this car to the normal daimler double six is all of this leather, leather. tell yes, us all about it when i saw this and saw the how well the leather had been done, the carpeting, and it was a total body off restoration. And then when I started looking at the angle of the lines of the doors, everything was right, the chrome, everything. Um, the, the linings come from, was made in Portugal, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah the head incredible. lining, yeah, everything is, um, I, I, when I saw it, I was, it was an emotional buy because I was just taken away when you open up the doors. You can always tell how good a car is when you go around all the bits yes. of piping. So all the furlocks has been done in yeah. here. It's not done cheap, is it? It's no. been done really to a high spec. And, and you've got the red uh, seat belts. The seat belts are all in red as yeah, well. This is little, beautiful. And the little covers for the seat belts. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, you've got the, the speakers in the back. You've got the extra speakers in the back put into the doors, which yeah, is lovely. It's got the uh, CD player, the yeah. 10, 10 CD player. Kept that in. Also USB port so I can play all my... You know, yep. downloaded music. Yeah, uh, I believe you're into ACDC, is that right? Yeah, a bit of heavy metal. A bit of heavy metal, Beatles, and that powers out. Lo loads of yeah. anybody my generation. We've seen, we've seen everything. From, Absolutely, from yeah. Stones to rap. <laughs> and you've got a nice little quirky thing inside your glove box uh, there. Yeah, got Let's little, have a look. What have we got? Check out our look. So yep. you, look, you look fantastic yeah, look this fantastic. morning, as always. Um, and you've got this little quirky idea, which you've done because you can see the air vents through the windscreen. Yes, the because, it, because it's, um, so I've made up these little bits to cover over the air vents to stop that reflection, because at times it can just distract you a little bit. It does, bit. you can see it in the yeah, window there, doesn't you? you can see it when you? you're so driving, it's it out. Look at that, so there's yeah. a so clever little idea, that. that. Yeah. It's not leather, that's vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell them that. <laughs> okay, um, now also, um, you've got the red carpet, and it really sets it off the red carpet, but you've done something special to stop anyone getting dirty feet in here, haven't you? Yeah, I um, I think uh, art of having a good car is keeping it good. Yeah. And so um, the carpets were and are immaculate. So I cut quarter inch thick uh, rubber and custom fit them in, in, in throughout the uh, whole car. Now this car was featured in the Jaguar Daimler magazine. You've got um, a copy of it there, haven't you? I have. Pick yeah, that out yeah, because yeah. it's nice I'm having this. And obviously, I've got a, I compiled a spreadsheet of all the work when it was done, um, and uh, uh, that amounts to about fifty to six thousand pounds. A lot of money, isn't it? So even, yeah. if, even if you went out and bought one t today to restore it, I think you'd be hard pressed to yeah. to get to that. Yeah. Yeah. Because the guy that had it, where did he live? Well, he lived on Jersey. Right. He's a millionaire on Jersey, and the car never left Jersey, so I know that it was done 64,000 miles. I mean, what can so you do So we know this Jersey? is genuine. Well, you no. can't. You can't go and more than 30 miles out. obviously, we're up to 70,000, which shows I've used it about 1,000 miles a year, yeah. which is typical for classic cars. Yeah, yeah. So it's all genuine, isn't it? Yeah, it's all genuine. It really is. Now, I heard there was a sticker somewhere on this car saying, catch me if you can. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's certainly got enough horsepower. It has. It, it really, really goes. Yeah. But the thing is, you've decided after nearly five years, it's time to maybe swap this up. You'd like something different, wouldn't you? So if anyone at home sees this car and they're interested in maybe, you know, exchanging something with you. I really would love to get hold of a, a, a falling apart um, console Capri. Right. With okay. the slope, slope yeah. back and yeah. restore one of those. Yeah. Uh, but I am going over to America. I spent quite a bit of time in America, and I'm, uh, I've had a Mustang, uh, 1964 and a quarter a Mustang, very first pony car. Guess what color? Red. Red. <laughs> yes, your history with classic cars is quite extensive, isn't it? You've owned a lot of different oh, cars. Yeah, what sort had, of things have you owned? I've had uh, three E-types. I've had all the 
dare I say, low end Moggy Miners, Triumph Spitfires. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, standards by the score. Yeah. Including a standard 12. Yeah, I had a, a drop, drop head, drop head 19, yep. 1947s, uh, which I won the uh, South End air display. Uh, it's probably, I'm really quite proud of that because I did everything with one exception, the paint. I had somebody do the paint for yep. me, but I did everything else, all the upholstery and uh, it'd be Bentleys, Rolls Royce, MGB GTs, Corvettes. It was the car show car. Yeah. And I did that. And then I, having done that, it's a bit like after Laws May's show, I stepped away a bit from, uh, yeah. uh, from classic cars. And so um, now we're at a stage to say you want to change this up, but I'd like to have a go in this. Can we can we get this on the road? Yeah, let's go. Let's give it a go. Yeah. XJs before the 4.2s. Oh, I just love them, love the styling, and particularly in Series 2 with chrome press wheels. Okay, hey Doug, thank you very much for showing us your lovely Daimler Double Six. Thank you, Adam. It's been a pleasure, it really nice. has. And hopefully you'll get the car you want. Yeah, That'll always, be nice. There's always another one out there. There's always a chance. Always there's always a chance. Love yeah, so join us next time down at the barns. And don't forget to like, comment, and as always, subscribe.